Aha! Uh, Alpha Papa, Alan Partridge. Hello! Um, Alan Partridge is practically this character, British character, who's very, very famous. Uh, he had a TV series back in the early 2000s called I'm Alan Partridge. Uh, we're basically following this talk show host with um, with his program and his social anxiety and how he was around people. A very, very like stuck up person. My family doesn't like him and I can see why. So this is basically the conclusion to that series of a big blown action blockbuster. Is completely different compared to the series. This is about uh, his co star, not his co star, his w guy he works with on the talk show station gets sacked by him, making up basically just by sack Pat, and he doesn't, Pat doesn't know about these being sacked or not. So practically, he takes all the studio hostage and with a shotgun, and it's all action, and he's just this. Completely inept and socially anxious person is gonna completely go around it because Pat thinks Alan is his friend, even though it, he mentioned that he's only had a bad career of him once a year, which I found quite funny. And he just goes, I never have a starter, but he always has a starter, stupid stuff like that. Alan is a very, very, very. He has small good qualities, but he is a douchebag. Like, the way he treats his assistant, Lynn, is something that you let you will shake your head and go, shut up. But other than that, um, it is a good thing, just have like a real type of person in the situation and what they would do. Uh, Michael, I like, uh, they basically they find him in the cupboard. Michael's from the series as well. They find him in the cupboard and he's done his shit in the takeout box. So, um... Then they froze it outside, and the police think it's an IED bomb, and they blow it up. And yeah, Alan has his corgi moments. It all ends with them going on like this bus to escape the coppers. And um, basically, they are on like a on the road talk show thing. And it ends with them arguing on the pier. Alan gets shot after taking the gun off uh, Pat. But he gets shot by Alan, throwing it over his shoulder, the gun blasts his foot, then the police officer aims his gun, and accidentally shoots Alan, just because the shot came from there. Um, good scenes, I would say, from this is the scene where he's on the dream sequence, and he goes and then tackles Pat, and runs away, and he becomes like an action movie star, and people come in like, oh, I'm Jason Statham, I'm Jason Bourne, and then one goes, I'm Jason and the Argonauts. So yeah, Alan Partridge is a very known British character, and this is a good send-off to, well not a send-off, but like a good major, major thing that's not going to be talked, they just wanted to do a film. Steve Coogan has always played the character very, very well, and it's very shocking to see that there are differences between them, because the way he pulls it off, he makes it like Alan so human. He's just an amazing actor, and yeah, other than that, very good film. Um, give it a ten. I'd probably give it a seven out of ten. Scarlet sign off.